A Facebook user by the name Tom Stamatakos did a write-up on how to modify your EGR to remove an intake manifold restriction, which can potentially increase the power your engine makes. So I decided to do it myself and create a video for it to teach you how to do it as well. What you're going to have to do is disconnect the vacuum line, unhook the connector, loosen the 11, 1 and 1 sixteenths and, and two 10 millimeters. And take it out. Then once that's done, you want to make sure you save your EGR gasket because you're going to need this. And you're going to need to do two 5 16 bolts, one right here and one right there. Once that is done, this comes out. Once you undo those bolts, pull this back a little bit and turn it this way. And that's what we're going to cut and modify. And then you just bolt it back in, hook everything up, and then you have yourself a modified EGR valve. Ford engineers may have had the elbow there to increase the Venturi effect from pulling air from the EGR system. However, it's an obstruction, and I wanted to get rid of it. So, they may know better than I, and uh, you do this at your own risk. So. Now that I'm finished, just to recap, you unhook the connector, you unhook the vacuum lines, you do the two 10 millimeter bolts, one right there, one right there, you do the two 5 16 bolts, one right there, and one right there, and then you do the one and 1 16 nut right there. And everything should come out, you cut off the elbow, and you should remove a restriction and theoretically increase power. This is a really easy mod. This took me roughly about a half hour from start to, com to completion and requires very basic tools. So I don't think you should be intimidated by doing this and it's not that big of a deal.